I first discovered pygmy mole crickets when I was eating my lunch by the side of a small pond at the back of the zoology department in Cape Town University in South Africa. I was just eating my lunch one day and I heard this noise coming from the water, these periodic whacking noises on the surface of the water. And I looked out and saw that there were these tiny little black insects on the surface of the water, jumping repeatedly and heading towards land. So I just caught a few of them with a net that I happened to have with me at the time and took them back into the lab and filmed them with my high-speed camera to see what they were doing. And the, the footage that came out of that was quite remarkable of what they were doing and how fast they were doing it. Pygmy mole crickets have solved the problem of how to get out of water in a quite unique way. If they are unable to escape from the surface of the water, then they're likely to get eaten by a predator or they're likely to just drown. But these animals have come up with a unique way of actually jumping from the surface of the water. Lots of animals live on water or close to water. You're probably familiar with things like little pond skaters which dart around on the surface of the water. And there are also some lizards called basilisk lizards, sometimes even called Jesus lizards, which can walk on the surface of the water for a short distance. And for both of these animals, it's the surface tension of the water that's critical. Pygmy mole crickets do it very differently in that they extend their hind legs so rapidly that the legs penetrate the surface of the water. And as the legs penetrate the surface of the water, they have a series of tiny paddles on their hind legs that are extended. And this increases the surface area of the water that the legs can push by about two and a half times. So these rapid, rapidly extending legs now in the water push down and grab hold of a ball of water, as it were, and this is sufficient. This downward motion of the water they've grabbed is sufficient to push the animal upwards. So they're making use of the stickiness and the properties of water, which are very different to an animal as small as it, compared with somebody like us swimming in the water. So from the videos that you can see filmed at 5,000 frames per second, remember normal video is taken at about 25 frames a second. So each one of these pictures catches a point in time of about two thousandths of a second. So very, very fast pictures of these. We see in less than a blink of an eye, the whole jump sequence, the whole movement of the, water, of the animal out of the water. So first of all, we see the, the hind legs extending very rapidly. And then as the legs hit the water, the little paddles on the sides of the legs extend so that it increases the surface area of the, the leg. These also drag with them air into the water. So you can see some air bubbles being thrust through the water. And as the leg fully extends, and it does this in about two milliseconds, two thousandths of a second, after this full extension of the leg, you start to see the legs, the paddles on the legs folding up again. And they fold up very quickly because they've got the perfect elastic in their hinge. This is a substance called resolin. This spring makes sure that the paddles immediately spring back close to the leg so that the resistance of the leg as it, it now starts to move upwards through the water is reduced to the minimum. The question of how high humans might be able to jump from water if they use the same method of that the pygmy mole crickets use is one that is always asked of me. First of all, if, if you get bigger, you need more muscle. But of course, having more muscle to make yourself jump means that your body size will increase. And as your body size increases, so does the resistance to movement increase. So that in fact, if you scaled up a pygmy mole cricket to the size of a human, a human would not be able to jump any better than a pygmy mole cricket. It would on, we would only be able to jump about 100 millimetres from the surface of the water, just the same as a pygmy mole cricket can do. I would hope that people would see what amazing things that, that animals do, things that we think they're quite impossible that animals could manage to do, and they manage to do this in quite unique ways. So pygmy mole crickets have solved the problem of how to 
jump from water and escape almost certain death from predators or from drowning. We can learn from this research how we might design small robotic vehicles that move on the surface of water or underneath water. For example, it would show us how we would need to build oars and propellers and it gives some understanding of how these tiny little black insects behave under the sticky material that is water.